there are no baby pictures of me that exist, except for one of me in a bathtub. There are barely any pictures of me in preschool, kindergarten, basically until middle school, due to me growing up in the transition from analog film cameras to digital cameras. So there is a great amount of my life that has gone completely undocumented. I don't quite like that. One of the only reasons I even started the Daft Brothers, other than wanting a creative outlet, was because I needed some way to document my life. In lieu of going to a pretty big event in my life, my first anime con, if you can't believe it, I've never been, I decided to vlog the whole thing. And well... Vloggable moments! Vloggable moments! I'm here with Blonde Cody! Wait, where's the and, and we're going to go to an anime con! I'm going as Yaoi Komaida. Now, you might think that's normal Komaida. And Cody's going as Kisuke Urahara, that's why he's- That's the Bleach guy! Yeah. You know, he got a fan, but uh... There's a bit of a problem. Target didn't specify this on the packaging. We weren't able to, you know, uh, get- Get, get that off of it, so we're not committing a hate crime, so we just taped that up. There will be paper fans at this convention. It is an anime convention. Yeah, here's Patches. Hey, look at it! Hey, Will's here! Hey, John Brown's here! They're picking us up! Ah! 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 Oh, Ooh, damn, little sussy baka about to make me act up. We're on the road right now. We're blasting the Herbert Hoover informational channel. Oh, baby. Oh, baby, we're going. We're going to Chicago! And so we were on the wild roads to Chicago, which was a mostly uneventful drive until we got to Chicago, and then it became the worst thing ever. Thanks, John Brown, for driving us. Just being in the city of Chicago kind of did permanent damage to our brains, I think, and we just started saying shit. La salida. That means take the eggs. Ball moral? My only bar my moral egg. is to suck them. Hey, We're talking about ketamine. Yeah, kettle corn is admittedly also trans positive. I, he does have a point. I, so, I'm sorry I snapped. It must have been the Chicago air. <laughs> New mail! Trans rights! Oh, McDonald's. Eventually, we made it to the parking ramp for our hotel, and we tried to find the other boys, and, well... Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh god! We found them. Run, right boy, run! Our hotel was really nice, and I do mean really, really nice. Fortunately, we didn't buy tickets to the Maid Cafe, because not everyone wanted to do it, and, like, just two white guys in a Maid Cafe, that's, like, a threat. But if it's, like... A group of white guys in a maid cafe? That's just an improv group. group. We got to our hotel room where Will vlogged to his girlfriend and I vlogged to the internet. We got in line to get our con badges, and we were ready for Anime Midwest. And to some extent, Oni-chan's hentai room, which we could never show on camera, for obvious reasons. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you cut that watermelon so well! We left the watermelon in the bathtub. The whole night, I started painting the diamonds on Cody's cosplay with acrylic gesso instead of fabric paint. It did not work out well. The, the, the paint is leaking through this shitty Fruit of the Loom robe onto the bed. Um, we're going to have to deal with that. Uh, we tried to use a stencil. That was a really stupid idea. This, this does not take paint. It was for this. We did it for this! Cody ended off the day with this. It doesn't matter that the diamonds look bad, as long as they are there. I have the hat. After all, no other anime character has this hat. No other character has Kisuke Urahara's design. The sense that came very quickly to bite us in the ass! The monsters are seeing Hi, welcome to day two of Chicago, day one of the con. We're all waking up. Why was Joe Biden in- Name and address withheld! I don't know, but all I remember is going up to him and he tried to give me a fist bump and I went in for a handshake. And he shook his fist. <laughs> yeah, and, and when, I, when, he, when he told me goodbye, he went in for the- he went in for a big I was hoping overnight that the Diamond Fairy would visit and make these look good. But I was wrong. 
But honestly, it is not the worst thing that is in this bathroom at the moment. Guys, I'm trying to distribute our badges. Um, who's Daddy Morbius? Carter! We try to spray my hair white in an unventilated room. Do you know that they put bitter it in hair color spray so people don't get high? Didn't stop me! Oh my god. Yeah, the diamonds don't look like too much shit when I'm like far away and my eyes are blurred and there's a ton of people probably moving in the room to obscure it. Exactly. We headed down to the con floor, snake picked with the best cosplayer of all time, and Cody taught me a little number to show the boys. Zep, do the gritty! Yo! Cody and I greeted anime heroes as John, Braun, and Will, well, for the entire weekend had to whore themselves out to any pictures possible because John Braun was a generic marine and worked in literally any picture with One Piece characters, and Will was Luffy, so anybody could center the picture around him, and it was a really good combo, to be honest. And a fair amount of people got pictures of Cody as well, but not always as Kisuke. So we just face the harsh so, realities of life. So someone kept yelling Phil behind me, and I, um, that's not my name, you guys know that. That's, that's not this It's Kisuke name. Ukehara. And, and then Zep realized a harsh truth, a harsh truth. Kisuke Orohara, like Cody thought, isn't the only character in media to wear that hat. Local Minecraft white man Philip Watson, otherwise known as Philza, is a part of the Dream SMP, and his Minecraft skin is Kisuke Urahara. Seeing as the Bleach anime ended in 2012 and the manga ended in 2016, it makes sense which character was more recognizable in a con in 2022. Even so, Cody wasn't doing too hot. It happened again. It happened again. I was recognized as Phil from the Dream SMP lore. I'm not having a good time. <laughs> I'm having a great time. In the past three times, people have been like, oh, it's been for Phil. His skin is Kisuke Urahara. And I guess never once does he say that that's what his skin is. So these fucking 14-year-old shitheads just think that it's that. What? There's multiple people doing this. Yeah, but like... Doing the same getup. Same as me. They've all been called Phil, too. <laughs> it's something we all have in common. This is a sad day for, for gamers everywhere. Well, actually, not a sad day for gamers. I, I just, we're at an anime con, and we are in the perfect context to where there is an equal amount of dream SMP fandom to where I can be misconstrued as both. At least you know who's 18 and who's not. That's true. I'm upset. That is I, on the other hand, was having a great time. And so were the other boys. Off at the vendor hall, the hub of all life in any convention, the boys were off finding particular products. Who's your friend, Carter? Father. <laughs> father or daddy? This is father. Well, this one's daddy. Pose with daddy. Were they with the covers? Oh yeah. This is us through the hotel cover. We needed some rest from that afternoon. And when we came to, a group of cosplayers complimented Cody's Kisuke Urahara outfit. He was pretty jazzed about that. Then we went on to do the only thing that man should. Ask the question. How many geese do you think you could reasonably take on in a fight? <laughs> geese. Yeah, geese. At least ten geese. Since this is Spider-Verse training, I feel it's only fair that I get my training and I I uh, arm wrestle the winner of that that little Spider-Man arm wrestling just to just to test my power. Okay. Alright. <laughs> Let's go. It looked like you were going. Yeah. Oh wait, Miles gonna win again. Is he the reign champion? Oh, yes. no, oh, no, no. He had an epic lesbian Miku gamer moment before heading to another panel. Which one of you is the strongest? Ooh. After having my ass handed to me in arm wrestling, I decided to get revenge in a game that I could actually have a fighting chance at, competitive improv. Yeah, I'm Yaoi Kumaida, super high school level semi. Oh my god. What does that mean? Do you know they do bottom surgery at first? <laughs> <laughs> It's like the place where they do piercings and bottom surgery. <laughs> what is bottom surgery? Please explain it to me in explicit detail. Well, you see trans rights. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yes. <laughs> Will unfortunately went into a laughing fit and didn't record the rest of the bit, but I assure you, I won. After a few panels, we went back up to the room and saw that the boys were watching FNAF game theories. And now that it's gotten to this part of the video, um, I don't know how to explain this other than this is the BDSM sanction. All right, we are recharged and ready to go. We're about to go into the Shibari. This is our final stage. So we carry the past down that one has to be if we're gonna suspend someone from the ceiling. I wanted to do suspensions here. I, I was hoping they would have given me the stage with like the, the steel support shit above me, like at the concerts and stuff, but they didn't give me that. And I'm like, why not? They're like, because insurance won't let us. And I'm like, maybe I won't tell my buddy, you know. <laughs> Shibari was great, the host was charismatic, the volunteers were tied up, and because our virgin branding keeps us thinking sex is inherently funny, we moved on to a panel called Succubus 101, where the Daft Brothers and Company stepped up to fix some of the issues with their projector. Among Us, are you good at technology? No. Also, there will be a spank train from yours truly after the panel is over. So if you would like, you can get a spanking from the mistress himself. Yes, if you guys have heard of an iconic spank train that happens at these cons, it's because of us. <laughs> They are still watching fucking FNAF floor. We just went to a fucking spank train. I got spanked on my ass. I saw a whole thing. Off to the rave. Off to the rave. Off to the rave. Let's go. We just came back from a fucking rave. <laughs> it's officially day two of of the con. Let's go. We it is like eleven right now. Uh, I think we're going to do a, a interviews today for a separate video. Uh, but there is going to be some banter. I think that will make into this vlog as well. Yeah, maybe not as much. I mean, yesterday kind of seemed to be like our big this video banter, but we'll see. We'll see. We'll see where the night takes us. Yeah, this is when the plot of the video happens. The day started out unassuming enough. We just went to a few panels here and there while we filmed the interview series, which, by the way, you may or may not be able to watch on YouTube.com at this very moment. And even though we managed to interview many interesting cosplayers in some kind of video you can watch on the internet right now, we managed to have our own fun. So Naru Sasuke is totally canon, right? Where did my kids go wrong? Hit it, Jason David Frank! Today, we are going to be talking about the cursed history of Yaoi at anime conventions. I am actually here. I'm a visiting scholar from the Harvard University Cringe Preservation Society. <laughs> it's, the pathway is clear. You buy a Yaoi paddle in 2005, and while well, you're a man 10 years later. It's, it, there's really something to that, folks. Like correlation, causation, graphs, stuff like studies. Okay, I feel like I need to explain the yaoi thing. Uh, I was raised by lesbians in middle school, so I was by proxy, essentially raised in Fujoshi culture. That kind of um changes your brain chemistry forever. So I had to go to this Yaoi panel. Honestly, it was a spiritually healing experience for both me and Cody. Cody's first real anime, um, was free. He, can be no contrast, so be he watched it for the swimming. <laughs> He didn't get much swimming. Okay, I swear we are getting to the plot. I swear. But not before we went to a burlesque show. We did not film any of the burlesque show out of respect for the dancers and their continued employment with their day jobs. The moment it really sank in that we were at a nerd-themed burlesque show was when Austin Powers took her ass out and started shaking it, and the moment where it became terrifying for myself was when Monokuma cutouts came out on stage and I had to lie to myself to say Komaida wasn't about to come out. And then Komaida came out, and Shibari gear, and shook their dussy all over the stage. 
I was never the same after that. And the boys who were watching FNAF in the room didn't even come when Vanny was the finishing act. Jesus Christ. Well, of course, if we're going to get the plot, we're going to have to go straight to the source, since, to be honest, uh, this isn't really my story to tell. It's kind of traumatic for him, so I hope you'll be accepting. The first few times, you know, okay, honest, honest mistake, you know, haha, things happen, you know, okay, we ran into a couple Dream SMP fans, whatever. The, the, the day after, that's that's when it really got bad. The kids just kind of started out, you know, like already like shorter than me, and, and like definitely younger. Because I mean, they're Dream SMP fans. Then, then literal child just like not tugs on my thing, but essentially did Dave and goes, "Are you Phil's up?" And, and I just can't, like, I just can't like you know get down on a knee or like just look down at this kid and say no, no. No kid, I'm a key skateboarder of horror from Bleach, cause, cause I don't want that kid to know what Bleach is. After after about seven kids asking for a photo in one day, I needed answers, so I decided to go straight to the source. And I did not know that Phil had this as his Minecraft skin. It's because he's a nerd. Yeah, so I have been being sequentially younger ages recognized as Phil throughout this entire convention. I feel like I made at least like one of those like twelve year olds days, but yeah, it, like, yeah. Days, like, no. but like their mom, their mom was their mom was smiling when they she took yeah. the photo, so I'm like, okay, whatever, it's fine. Imagine being filled with the wings and everything and being called. Yeah, I thought about that too. I've been calling him your character's name. Yeah, I had like giant then, wings. And then you probably go who? It was actually at Ren Fair, so it was even more awkward. I have one question. Why was he called Curl Daddy? Yeah, I was also called Curl Daddy by someone. I could not tell you that. <laughs> no. what? That's what we came here for. That's why I was here. That was That's part of my reason. Wait, wait, wait. Called Crow Father? Maybe. Crow Father is Crow Father. Thank you. Okay. A lot of things. I'm learning. I'm. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. So yeah, we went to an 18 plus Dream SMP panel because it was called an 18 plus Dream SMP panel. Uh, we did have questions and they did have answers. Afterwards, we really started to connect with these guys. They were a fun group of people. They were kind. They didn't mind that we were asking questions about their interests and they gave us a free marble. That was really neat. I really only had one complaint. They said that Cody looked like Philza and that he was like Philza in real life. Well, first of all, Philza is in real life. Uh, maybe they're referring to his character, but I, I can't stress enough that Philza is a real white man that you have a chance of seeing in real life. And um, Cody is also a real white man that you have a chance of seeing in real life. They tend to look like each other. But, but other than that, they were a fine group of people. Uh, we loved talking to them afterwards. Uh, it was a wonderful experience. And then we went to another rave. from Naruto! <laughs> Substitution no jutsu from Naruto! I didn't even get a video the Carter, why don't you scroll through your YouTube recommended? I kinda wanna cool Cody, down and watch It's, so his, it's his history. This is history. <laughs> it's my history. It's all bad. <gasps> oh, my. oh, and then in, in the techno <laughs> We're at a panel and the Kamida is presenting the Kamida from last night. She was on the other foot now, I suppose. This is great. The last day of the con was very relaxed. We went to the vendors hall one more time, got John Braun some more glamour shots, and then packed up and left. 
My first con was a terrific success and I cannot wait to go back next year. But there's still one question that lags on my mind. We left the boys unattended for a while, and if they weren't watching FNAF, what were they doing? Man, if you ain't to go to bed, I'm really tired. <laughs> He's still cold. <laughs> <laughs> More! <laughs> oh god! <laughs> More! <laughs> you, you need her only fast password to escape. <laughs> uh, 